right, uh, this is either going to be a clutch video, an engine install video, or just a throw out bearing video. I'm not sure which. Um, you'll obviously be looking at the title and you'll know which video it is. So um, the motor's going back in the 88 here soon and uh, uh, the TO bearing needs to be replaced and I wish there was a name. There's like the support needle bearing on the crank that's also going to get replaced. That looked like it was going to be real fun to pull out of there. Hopefully there's a simple way to do it. Didn't see a lot of videos on that at all. Didn't see a specific video on an 88. Um, kind of got in there and saved you guys the trouble of watching me monkey around with that uh, clutch fork. So it's actually really simple. It's the style on my, mine is the style that has a clip in the back that pivots on a ball. The um slave cylinder is hydraulic and mine just has a nylon ball on the end nothing's actually attached it's all free floating and basically you just pivot the uh, shift fork forward and slide the bearing off and then lots of cleaning because inevitably there's clutch dust and gross grease that you know has been in there forever and needs to be wiped off so we'll do that All right, guys, so um, basically now my situation's a little different than yours in that my engine's out, like way out. But basically this just pulls forward, and the ball will pot slide back, and this comes off. Um, we're going to want to clean this up. We're going to pull the shift fork out. It's going to go backwards and then come out through the end or through the tranny you can see the little clip there I have a feeling the clip is worn out um, I'm going to attempt to bend the fingers back in a little bit we'll see if that works um, uh, it's basically there just as a keeper once this thing's in it's behind the it's behind the clutch um, it's behind the throw out bearing and it's tr sort of trapped in there against the ball so We'll clean it up though and we'll get some good grease on everything and all that good stuff. Alright, reinstall the, uh, let's see, the shift fork goes in that way. So I believe it goes like, like this. Is that right? Yup. So the little flap, if yours still has it, points towards you, towards the front of the vehicle. <coughs> All right, we gotta clean the shift fork up. Go get some grease. All right, so the TO bearing gets a little bit of grease. Obviously we don't want grease flinging all over the clutch or anything like that. So, we're gonna wipe a majority of this off, or a fair amount, and make sure that it's a thin coating, not a thick coating. And, We're gonna put some grease on this ball right here. I'm actually gonna put it not on the ball, I'm gonna put it on the socket part portion. Hmm, are you guys still recording? Yep. Okay, I couldn't resist painting this part. So I painted it flat black. And put a little tiny bit of grease back here get that grease out of the road and we'll slide this through get this 
shift fork out of the road. Oh, a little plastic ball came off. grease on the inside of this ball too just a little bit <sighs> okay and we want this shift for it to go on can hear that pushing into the uh, clutch we're also gonna put a little bit of grease on the uh, rim of this just to make sure that it slides correctly wanting to come off um, just put a teeny tiny bit on there I think we're gonna want that maybe zip tied in place I'm not sure that's actuating really liberally now. I'm gonna zip tie that fork uh, back all the way. All right, so the issue is, is that fork can slide back that way. And there's nothing to stop it. It'll slide off this pin back here. Um, everything's greased up. I tried zip tying the arm back and as the arm, it's zip tied, but as the arm trays back, it pivots around and pushes forward on this. You can see how it's kind of spring loaded. So when I go to put the engine in, that's gonna, I'll have to have somebody down there to hold that back, but uh, I couldn't resist painting the fork. It's a little flat black action. So you can see down in there, um, I got it um, zip tied in place. I tried to do it with the little black one there and that didn't work. So. It's not wonderful, but at least it's holding it before it was completely sprung totally out from the hydraulic pressure or something. I can hear it going into the reservoir right there. And so, uh, anyways, it's not a uh, super wonderful solution, but it'll keep it depressed until I get, uh, get the engine in and get the clutch lined up and all that good stuff. So, um, needle bearings next uh that one's ugly i have to take the engine off of the engine stand to swap that out so i'm not quite sure how i'm going to do that we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it bye